Did UFOs kill over a hundred people and Gary Nolan investigated all these deaths? That's what Tucker Carlson is saying on a recent interview. This is an amazing story. So let's talk about it. Get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, share on social media. And uh, yeah, join me there. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. I'd love to see you guys there. And of course, let me know what you're thinking as I go through the story. Now, I've read a lot of articles and seen a lot of inter interviews with Gary Nolan, but I had never heard that he had investigated uh, over 100 deaths caused by UFOs. So did this actually happen? Well, let's see uh, what Tucker Carlson had to say in this recent interview, and we'll go from there. It's like I never for a second thought Uf UFOs. But what changed your attitude at 50? The evidence. Which is what? Well, we, we, well, oh my gosh, or, at this like point. The, well, at this point, it's kind of come out, actually. Uh -huh. um, the federal, the Pentagon was required by the last defense authorization bill to, like, produce some of their files on UFOs. And it turns out they have known about this since the end of the Second World War, which ended in 1945. Been a huge increase during that war, during the war as well. Huge increase in UFO sightings, in UFO crashes, et cetera, et cetera. And it turns out the federal government has been tracking this for 80 years and lying about it. So why? Well, that's a great question and I can't answer it. I have theories, but I don't know. But here's what I learned. Just to, the first question is, is this real? Or am I just being a crazy person who's spending too much time on the internet? Well, this summer we got a call. We didn't reach out, this person called us. Lexi, who's standing right there, who's a genius, one of our producers, gets this call from this guy who's a tenured Stanford medical school professor. And he wants to come on the show. Now, this guy has a couple patents, and so he's rich. <clears throat> Talking about Gary Nolan, of course. And he's got tenure at one of the most prestigious schools in the world. So, like, he's not a flake. He comes on, and he's like, 11 years ago, the U.S. government reached out to me because I'm an expert on head injuries, on brain injuries, traumatic brain injuries, as a physician. And they had all these court cases from families of U.S. servicemen, over 100, who'd been killed by UFOs. And the Department of Defense was refusing to give them death benefits or medical benefits. And I'm like, and he's like, so they're in the courts. And I was like, there are over 100 servicemen killed by UFOs? Like, what? He's like, yeah. And there are court cases about it. I'm like, why isn't this on the front page of the New York Times? I don't know. But he goes, I'm involved in it. I'm the, you know, I'm one of the researchers. I'm the expert witness in these cases. Holy shit. What does that mean? And he's like, for example, uh, UFOs appear to be tra attracted for whatever reason, to nuclear energy. So at nuclear missile bases in the upper Midwest, for example, nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, nuclear-powered submarines are all getting buzzed by these objects, including underwater. And in a number of cases, these things have landed on military bases, including famously in Germany, in West Germany in the 70s, and servicemen have approached them. Like, what is this thing? There's this like giant glowing thing on the base. And they approach and they get traumatic brain injury. Like they are rendered. Like, yeah, yeah. Just, they get brain damage or they're killed. And he studied their brains. And they have, this is all totally real. This is not, this is the Department of Defense, dude. And they've all had this damage from some kind of powerful energy that we cannot identify. So then this guy's like, wow, he's just a scientist. He never believed in UFOs. He's like, this is real. I cannot believe this is real. This is like crazy. He should start to do research on it. He's still at Stanford. And it turns out that actually, yes, these things have been shot down and crashed and the US government has the wreckage and it's being held by defense contractors, Raytheon, Lockheed, which are big independent companies, but that work for the US government. They're really part of the Department of Defense, but they're separate. So you can't, their sunshine laws don't apply to them. You can't actually get information from them. It's a very tricky way to hide information. And they have the wreckage from these crafts. Hmm. And I'm like, really? Are we positive these aren't like advanced Russian or Chinese? No, of course not. Isn't that insane? That is just crazy. Gary Nolan investigated a series of deaths. I mean, you could even call them murders uh, by UFOs. Uh, that's just nuts. How had I not known that? That is crazy. So I wanted to see if anybody else was talking about this other than uh, Tucker. And uh, yeah, sure, I found an article in the New York Post. 
Uh, I'm not going to read the whole article, and I'm just going to read a few paragraphs, and I'll link to it, and you can read it at your leisure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so quoting from the article, Speaking Devices Motherboard, Nolan opened up about his work and revealed what sparked his interest in UAP. Nolan, who admitted to being an avid reader of science fiction, said his interest took flight when he reached out to a man named Stephen Greer, who claimed a small skeleton was possibly an alien. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with that. It was eventually revealed that the skeleton was human as it had a number of mutil mutations in skeletal genes that could potentially explain the biology, Nolan explained. He published a paper titled Whole Genome Sequencing of Ad Atacama Skeleton Shows Novel Mutations Linked with Dysplasia, which led the professor to be contacted by people linked to the CIA in various aeronautics corporations. His involvement with UAP began after he was asked to use his blood analysis instrumentation to help with cases of pilots who were close to alleged UAPs in horrible brain damage. When asked if he could describe the more abnormal effects of the brains observed with the MRIs, Nolan said, if you've ever looked at an MRI of somebody with multiple sclerosis, there's something called white matter disease. It's scarring. It's a big white blob or multiple white blobs scattered throughout the MRI. It's essentially dead tissue where the immune system has attacked the brain. That's probably the closest thing that could come uh, to if you wanted to look at a snapshot from one of these individuals. You can pretty quickly see that there's something wrong. Approximately 100 patients, getting back to what Tugger said, uh, approximately 100 patients mostly defense or government personnel or people working in the aerospace industry were analyzed, Nolan told Motherboard. Uh, Dr. Kit Green studied some of the people from what Nolan called a smorgasbord of patients. You have a smorgasbord of patients, some of whom had heard weird noises buzzing in their head, got sick, etc. A reasonable, reasonable subset of them claimed to have seen UAPs and some claimed to be close to things that got them sick. Ultimately, his team learned the, uh, the people who had originally thought were damaged had an over-connection of neurons between the head of the caudate and the putamen. And that's how he learned about the uh, connection with the uh, caudate and putamen. To putamen. The number of people that had this overconnection led to the open question, did coming in contact with whatever it is cause it or not? Um, yeah, so there's not a whole lot more details uh, specifically about what Tucker was saying. And it's unclear to me if all of those people were dead. Uh, the, the 100 patients that he was called in to, uh, to look at. So I'm not sure if Tucker's facts are correct on that. He's speaking off the cuff about stuff that he's researched. And, um, you know, he's not looking at the research at the moment. So I don't want to jump to the conclusion that what he said is necessarily true. Um, but, you know, it, it very well could be. Uh, the, the, the quote from the article is approximately 100 patients, mostly defense or governmental personnel or people working in the aerospace industry, were analyzed. It doesn't say their bodies were analyzed. It says the patients were analyzed. But to continue with the interaction between Gary Nolan and Tucker Carlson, here's another article from HowlsandWise.com. Um, as the scientist explained to Tucker, who he thinks has the UFO remains that have been recovered in various incidents like Roswell and why they have not been released to the public. These remains went to places like Lockheed and other large aerospace companies, which wanted to profit from them. And a lot of them basically took a bunch of information, pulled it apart and said, okay, let's make a profit on this. We are not going to tell Congress what we have, because if we do, we may have to share it with McDonnell Douglas, another contractor or someone else, Nolan replied. In response, Carlson asked how such materials could be profitable. Uh, and Gary Nolan uh, responded, well, they can keep asking for black budget money. And so the funding can continue in the hope that one day they will understand this technology. 
and there are a hundred technological revolutions ahead of us. It's like giving a Neanderthal a cell phone and expecting him to figure out uh, what's for, what it's for and how it works. Of course, I think there's a lot more going on than uh, Gary is aware of, but that is very interesting. But what about all those people that had damaged brains and, uh, according to Tucker, were killed? Uh, Gary Nolan revealed in his Q&A with Motherboard that the people associated with the CIA and some aeronautics corporations wanted him to analyze the blood of the UFO victims as they were told that he got the best blood analysis instrumentation on the planet. Then the CIA people showed him the MRIs of some of the victims, and he clearly found the problem. He said, uh, then they started showing the MRIs of some of these pilots and ground personnel and intelligence agents who had been damaged. And he says, damaged, not killed. The MRIs were clear. You didn't have to be an MD to see that there was a problem. Some of their brains were horribly, horribly damaged. And so that's what kind of got me involved. So not killed, perhaps, but horribly, horribly damaged. Dr. Nolan explained that most of the victims were defense or government, governmental personnel or people working in the aerospace industry. Uh, after their UAP UFO encounters, they all got damaged or hurt, such as a buzz noise in their head, got sick, etc. Most of them had similar kinds of health issues. He showed the MRIs of some people that revealed damage in the middle of the basal ganglia, an area, area responsible for motor control and other core brain functions, including intuition. Dr. Nolan said the damage should have killed those people, yet they were alive. He obtained MRIs of some prior to their encounters, and they had the damage, so they were most likely born with it. These are so-called high-functioning people. They're pilots who are making split-second decisions, intelligence offers, officers in the field, etc. Moreover, Jim Simivan, a former CIA officer, made a shocking statement saying, there's a whole other reality that surrounds us that we just simply don't have the ability to see or interact with. Uh, he fiercely said that non-human intelligence is living with humans on Earth. There's an entity out there, there's some kind of non-human intelligence that living, that's living with us on the, this effing planet, uh, Simi Van said. So, very interesting, but I think that that uh, solves the riddle. Tucker uh, got his information confused. It wasn't over 100 people killed. Uh, it was over 100 people severely damaged. And, um, you know, they might be, you know, uh, vegetative, uh, so I'm not saying it's a whole lot better than being killed. Uh, they do seem to be severely damaged um, in the brain. So, um, you know, not good. I don't know if that's more alarming or less alarming than being outright killed. Uh, but I, I do think that it's at least not murder uh, or even manslaughter. It is maiming. And uh, um, either way, though, it's not good. Over uh, 100 people uh, uh, with their brains damaged from contact with UFOs that are uh, interested in nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. So a really weird story uh, that appears to be true. Uh, I need to do some more digging on this. And uh, let me know what you guys think. And if you have any more information, send it my way because I am very curious about this. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Uh, smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. That'd be awesome. Join me on social media. There's Facebook and Twitter links below. Uh, check it out. Uh, I'd love to see you guys there and to see some of my other videos. That'd be awesome. Uh, so until next time, this is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.